<laughs> now I hope you guys um I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, enjoy this. What I want to do before every stream, maybe for about 30 or 20 to 30 minutes, is just to sh just to talk about stuff, just to share things that maybe I've I've come across, things that I've read. Um, you know, you know. Um, today is no exception. Today actually is where we're gonna start, and as as the title suggests, we're gonna be talking about. <laughs> hey, what's up, King? Yeah, cookie story time, dude. <laughs> Today we're gonna be talking about dealing with depression, taking L's, and improvement, and I'll also be talking about my own experiences um, with with such. Um, before I go into it, though, I I will suggest I, I will say that I am not a medical uh, person. <laughs> I am not an expert on these things i will just be talking from my own experience so if these things help you um that's awesome if these things don't help you that's okay there's always other platforms there's always other options available for you to help you out but anyways before before um without further ado we're gonna get right started so i hope um you guys will sit back and chill and relax and we're just gonna let the music take over as we go through story time together <laughs> well today um as as you can probably tell from the title um dealing with depression is it's it's depressing it's so depressing <laughs> um i myself have been dealing with depression for a while um i've been diagnosed with both anxiety and depression um i've been told that um in many cases one comes with the other um, and also comes with, um, oh, oh, what was it? it? It comes with something else. There's three, but more, um, but I, I've only have, uh, I've only been diagnosed with the two. Um, and for a while now I've been taking antidepressants. Um, I find, uh, for personally for me, like I know some people have been saying, uh, I've said that, um, antidepressants can um, hinder your creativity and I do find that somewhat uh, I do find that somewhat true because um, it, it I find that my creativity is um, directly correlated to my emotions so how I'm feeling how, at the time and antidepressants as, as you may know it kind of just so your emotions are here it kind of puts a limiter onto it um, it it doesn't go further than that and it doesn't go like lower than that so you're stuck at a plateau with your emotions and and, and i can see that's that's where um people complain that it, it um kills their creativity um, for the longest time i i was the same because uh, i wasn't sure what to do for my youtube channel which i i need to well, my wife keeps telling me that i need to work on so i tried to deal with other ways um, to to cope with um, to cope with depression, one um, one thing I tried to do was to work on my physical health. Um, as some of you may know, as some of my friends know, I tried tried to go vegan for well, I tried to go month for vegan for a month. <laughs> um, I didn't end up going for a month. <laughs> I went for like maybe three weeks. Three weeks was the I, I nearly was I was close. I was close. Um, I just found that it wasn't for me. Um, I found that uh, it was very difficult, <laughs> very difficult going vegan. But um, especially because I'd have to buy food for myself and then for my family because they didn't want to go vegan. <laughs> my my, like we love the meat. So, what was that? Oh no, I tested it. I checked it. So it's all good. My wife was just saying that the fan is getting in the way and it's a bit noisy. And if you can hear the fan, that's OG. Um, it's really hot here in Perth, Western Australia. So. <laughs> oh, that's cool, dude. That's true. No, Kane suggested that he gets rid of his depression by playing with people that make me feel happy, playing the game and have a good laugh, even and even getting body too. And that's true. And that leads me on to the next point as well. Um, which is your social life, all right? Um, one thing I found um, when I first had depression, I found that I was just very stoic, just kind of kept it to myself, almost a bit, um, 
a bit embarrassed. You could say that I was depressed. I had so many things that were going good for me. All right, I I was married. I, I had a loving. I have a loving wife. I have loving kids. I have great kids. Great family. Um, yet I was depressed. Um, I was depressed because I wasn't where I wanted to be personally um, with, with regards to my career, uh, with regards to finances. Now I'm 28 years old and I was comparing myself to not only to my high school classmates, but to everyone. I was comparing myself to people younger than me, older than me. I was just kept comparing myself and I just kept coming short. All right. And that's what started started at all i was getting stressed you know i wanted to have a bit, uh, the best possible life for my wife and kids because that's how much i love them but i couldn't provide it not with the job that i had not with um the education that i had and that's another thing um th those what brought on my depression i was getting really stressed out oh dang i think i'm getting too close to the mic um but I, as, as a result, I neglected my sleep. I neglected exercise. I neglected eating healthy, um, which is the physical health aspect. You know, and when you're a physical health aspect, you know, um, I guess you could, um, it's like, it's like your body is a machine, right? You want me to kiss the mic? <laughs> I will. <laughs> As I was saying before Kane interrupted me. <laughs> no, your body is a machine and by by taking good care of it and you're oiling it, you're making sure that it's working fine. Um, if your body is not functioning fine, if you're physically not 100%, your mind starts to take a toll as well, right? So so you have to make sure that you're looking after your physical health which is something that i'm still neglecting to do because <laughs> um i find that as soon as the kids are asleep that's when me and my wife are able to really do the things that we want to do right my wife does youtube i do twitch um i practice tekken as you can see at the bottom my right oh no you bottom left <laughs> my right your left <laughs> on the screen no i i love I love fighting games. Now, that's that's the time that I can really sit back, relax, and just learn the game um, when my kids are not getting in the way. <laughs> and that's late at night. Um, sometimes they get to sleep at nine, but sometimes they get to sleep much later than that, just because they're so active during the day. Uh, it's just so active during the night. Um, and as anyone that has kids knows, um, the more I, the kids tend to get more active when they're sleepy <laughs> and if not done properly they will stay up much longer and then just crash somewhere <laughs> um no yeah so i know right always up till 11. i, I want to sleep at nine but my kids are always up and it's just yeah so that takes a toll on your health um on your mental health especially um so one of the things that i do suggest you now if you are dealing with depression is make sure that you've got those checked you now are you exercising it doesn't have to be freaking you don't have to be like a gym bro you don't have to be like ripped insanely ripped like gin or whatever and you just have to have that act be active right be active uh, make sure your body is getting the activity that it needs and you never know you might find somewhat something that you enjoy you know i i enjoy boxing um i do shadow boxing in in the garage sometimes when i when i feel like <laughs> you know or jump rope you no know, i just it's just those things like it, it seems mundane to some other people but for me i really really freaking enjoy it for for you it might be i don't know um our 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 group here in western australia really like rock climbing you know, our friend one of my friends sinjo he's inviting everybody to go rock climbing and he's really really into it and that's what that's that's great about it i'd go myself um if i could look after my kids <laughs> like if i had someone to look after the kids um and money <laughs> money's always the issue it's kids money time <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, those are my three issues. Not not to get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love my kids. I do. I really do love my kids. But you know, and having to find a babysitter and also like I I want to spend time with my kids. You know, I'm not. And yeah. <laughs> So, and then that, that leads into social life, you know, being social, uh, be open about it. Now find people that, find people that, um, I guess that you can trust about it, you know, and you can talk to your best friend, you can talk to a friend, you can talk to a family member, you know, and, and don't be disheartened, you know, at, um, at first, you no, know, I don't mean to, I don't mean to crap. On my parents my parents are great but at first when i told them that i had depression they hit me with the no <laughs> they hit me with the bos the no that's just in your head you can overcome that it wasn't until after educating them a little bit more you know and that they realized you know that this is a thing this is a this is a real thing you know dealing with depression and it's, a, it's a thing that has popped up um mainly in our generation um, nowadays, so they don't like. I don't. I don't have anything against my my parents. Of course, I love my parents, and I don't have anything against people that think this way. No, it's just a lack of a lack. I, I think it's just a lack of experience, a lack of education, and that's fine. No, you don't have to talk to them. Um, luckily for me, my wife is very um very. What's the word I'm looking for? very supportive very supportive um so i can talk to her about anything um you can i can also also talk to friends i talk to everybody about it and i found that the more i talk to people about it the more open that i was you no know, everybody like i found it a relief you know, it's almost like i wasn't the only one dealing with it alone no i wasn't alone anymore i wasn't alone dealing with depression because sometimes i find actually some of my friends dealt with the same the same issues same things you no know? and they you know they would suggest things or even they would just listen which is nine out of ten times it's just the best thing to do like if you have a friend that's depressed just listen don't give them solutions don't give them how they should do certain things just listen just let the let them get them get it off their chest and i'm i i i I promise you, you'll be doing more help um, than you had you just said your life story and <laughs> how they what they need, need to do to change. No, and I guess that brings up um, another point as well that Kane um, Susano over there mentioned. You no, know, playing video games. You now, sometimes after playing video games, you no, know, you take take five L's. You take. 10 L's you take you take an L that just you take a loss that just makes you rethink your entire life and existence <laughs> no it happens it does because we're all learning we're all growing we're not pros and I'm sure that all the pros deal with uh, all the pros deal with taking L's all the pros deal with having to take the loss having to deal with that um, the sadness or the depression, uh, the depressive state that is losing, right? And there's a wrong way to go about it, and there's a right way to go about it. Um, and that's that's another thing that I kind of wanted to talk about today. Um, in light of of, of me <laughs> as well, because um, recently I've been taking a few L's and that's because I've been changing up my style of how I play Tekken normally because I'm I'm a Josie main normally I'd press buttons I'd mash buttons I'd mash buttons all day so. <laughs> and then um, one of the guys in the FTC um, here in WA Fleece he is just saying that you know our our style here most pros go to hibernation there there that's yeah that's exactly right you know they go they take that distance away but any um like as i was saying um what's it no fleece fleece one of the guys here in western australia he was saying that our style because he comes from over east and then moved over here now our style here in the west you know we like to take we like to press buttons we like to take our turn back all the time and i found that to be the case with my play um 
So I decided to take a step back, really analyze my play, and I found that I was just mashing buttons. I was just pressing buttons for days, and I wasn't learning as much as I could have. And I felt. And so you know what? I'll just take up fleece on his on this um on on his um advice and let's take it. So I started playing a little bit more passive, going for the pokes, um, low pokes, mid pokes, high pokes, and just taking information. Of course, with that change up, I started taking a lot more L's. I started taking a lot more losses. Um, and, and it's easy. Um, easy for me to to get depressed because I already have depression and um, for a while I was taking the L's the wrong way no I'd be playing with guys that I, I really like playing with and make me happy playing the game you know and we'd have a good laugh but really afterwards you no know, I'd feel like maybe Tekken uh, maybe I should give up on Tekken maybe I should give up on playing fighting games but I've tried that so many times and it's it's my passion and I love I love playing fighting games and I love I love 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 playing Tekken. So I don't want to give that up just because I keep losing, right? So the wrong way I will, the wrong way for me to take that L or those Ls would be to sit there and mope or and complain. No, I'd be like making excuses. No my my controller is trash. Or nah, that's too hard. No, and I can't react to that. That's stupid. You know, or just complaining that oh, this character is broke. This character is broke. This character, I can't, I can't beat this character. That sucks. This character needs to be nerfed. No, I mean there's a time and place for that. Don't get me wrong, but there's you know, you you'd think you just get super salty, and then it may even get to the point where get so bad that you just decide to quit and that's the worst thing that you can do don't quit right if you're doing something that you love and you come across a I, I don't know a um a challenge if you say like don't give up don't quit that's the worst thing that you could do right the right way is to use that salt and I love the fact that we call it salt or getting salty no, I love it because um, <laughs> not, not only is it super fun, <laughs> super fun to say that I'm getting salt, like you're getting salty or getting salty, but salt is used as a flavoring, right? You know, you always hear this, and with food, and I love food. That's why I'm using this analogy. With food, with salt, you add salt to taste, right? You add salt. To taste to make the food taste better to make the food taste better to how it suits you right so the right way to use your salt is to use that salt learn from that salt remember that salt and hammer it <laughs> put it into your food <laughs> right what you do is, all right, um, one of our other one of our other friends here in uh, WA, um, Dino. Dino is a really good Devil Gym player. Um, he he told he shared with me a trick, you know, to record your matches. Right? And this is sort sort of what I'm doing with with streaming Tekken and, and what have you. All right, record your matches, um, and then when you lose, watch what you did right. Because that's probably the best starting point, right? Watch what you did right. Because you're salty. You don't, <laughs> don't want to just focus on the negative. Try and focus on the positives. What did you do right? Now, if you, even if you got perfected, there's something that you must have done that was okay. You know? Maybe you were also working on your movement. Maybe there was a portion there that you ducked. You didn't punish it, but you ducked, right? That's good. You did good, <laughs> right? Take victory in this. Uh, take, um, take pride in the small victories because that will help so much. Now, did you get that combo that you were wanting to get? Did you land that launcher? Did you punish that move, right? 
Those are the things that you did right. And then focus on the things that you did wrong. Why did you lose? Oh, maybe it's because, no, I dropped that combo. I need to take that combo into, into practice. Maybe I didn't, my, maybe the combo that I did just there wasn't the most optimal one. Uh, no, that's not the most damage that I could have done. Work on optimizing that. And I'm sure there's somewhere on YouTube that you can find the most optimal combo or even just the most basic combo that's more optimal than the one that you're doing. All right. Um, what, what else? Maybe you stepped when you shouldn't have, maybe you ducked when you shouldn't have, or maybe your movement is, is needs a bit of work, right? The more you, when you analyze it, you know, this is why you lost. You know, there's always a reason why you lost. And then you use that salt and you know, I ducked when I shouldn't have to, I'm going to practice against that string and get it into my mind that I'm not going to duck. Or this character is really good at blowing you up if you duck. No, they're all about conditioning you to duck. I'm a not duck. I'm a not get conditioned, right? Those, those are the things that you need to think about. And then finally, it's not all about you. <laughs> the game is not all about you. No, sometimes you need to look at what your opponent did good, right? Um, what did your opponent do good? No, maybe they were successful in conditioning you to duck. And that was a good thing. Now, how did they do that? Um, what else? Maybe they did capital. They capitalized. They were able to punish correctly. No, they did well in punishing you. Now you know that these strings that you're doing is punishable, right? And so what? And then think on what your opponent did wrong. Um, I think I, I can't remember the quote, but it, it's it's smart. Like I'll paraphrase it. Like it's smart to learn from your mistakes, but it's even wiser to learn from the mistakes of others. All right. So watch watch streams. Watch people that see, um watch your opponent. What mistakes they made. You no, know? I'm not gonna let that uh, mistake. I'm not gonna make that mistake, or I'm gonna work on that mistake that they did. Uh, Let's see how we can emulate it. Let's see how we can make other people make that same mistake. Or even work better, um, how do I avoid making that mistake that they made? And that's how you can improve. And that's how you use that salt um, to, to improve, to get better at not only fighting games, but in life in general, right? There's, um, I mean, and I, and I understand there's things that are out of your control, you know? Sometimes... Um, I think it's a Star, a Star Trek quote, right? Um, sometimes you make all the right moves and you still lose. That's just life. That's just how it is. Um, you take that L and deal with it. it. Might take you a while to get out of that brooding, <laughs> that brooding mood, but that's that's all of us. And you can talk to talk to people, talk to your friends, talk to your community. Now, if you're still super salty about that Kazuya matchup, bro, I'm sure there's like a ton of people that play Mushi Monkeys. <laughs> I'm sure there's people in your in your in your squad. Maybe you know, it might be some of your old squad that do you, do you bad, right? Ask them for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. There's nothing wrong with being salty, taking that salty, and improving, right? <laughs> like me. <laughs> right? There's nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, right? Learn from your mistakes. Learn from the mistakes of others. And that's why I love... <laughs> Michi Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love I love it when people call it Mishima monkeys, but it, like Mishima is actually are pretty good. You no, know, Mishima is are the OGs. But no, in all honesty, like you know that's that's just how it is. You no, know, and I'd like to think as well. You know, if you are watching this and you you do find yourself in a um, you know dealing with depression, maybe with post post uh post match depression or maybe just depression in life you know um feel free to to approach me um i'm i'm on you this will probably be on youtube this will <laughs> um i i want i want all of the story times with cookie to be on youtube and um 
I'm always on Twitter. Uh, I'm always on on Twitter. I I mean I I sleep, but I will do my best to get 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 to you, you know, to reply to you. I, I um it's it's not a big deal for me. Um, because we're all we're all in this together, you know. We're all trying to improve in in the game, in respect to games that we play. Oh yeah, I do have a YouTube channel that I'm starting. Oh, I'm starting to do again. I did um, Dragon Ball Fighter stuff for the longest time, and then I, um, because of work, I wasn't able to really do it. Do it, but now that I've got a different job, um, more shift based, I got a little bit more time to really focus on the Twitch and the YouTube stuff. Um, make it big as a as a I don't know, as a YouTube personality I guess <laughs> gotta do it I gotta do it um, this is my passion this is what I want to do for the rest of my life so I gotta do it gotta make gotta make 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 the monies and I'll be I'll com be completely open with about that you know I'm I, I love it I, I enjoy uh, playing video games as a hobby but unfortunately I don't I don't get paid to play video games unless I may I, unless I do something about it and we see how we see other people that have done it and I will follow in their footsteps you no know, one step at a time you know just like just like we're taking you know we're not gonna get better overnight that's yeah, gonna take work 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 uh.